Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna create this Instagram profile page as you can see over here. Uh, this is the Instagram profile page that I have created that resembles the Instagram iOS app. So uh, this is the page we're gonna build. So let's see how the codes look like, okay? Let me arrange it on the left hand side, probably right hand side, probably. Okay. So, uh, as always, if you want source code, then you can uh, find the you can find the GitHub source link uh, down in the description, and in that description, find for uh, search for Instagram profile page. It's called profile screen dot dot under the screens folder of that Git repository. Okay. So, if you go in the inside the Instagram prof, uh, profile screen, uh, as you can see over here, profile screen is a stateful widget that has a state, and I have set primary color to uh, whatever the primary color that comes out of the box. Uh, currently, it's blue, and it can be changed to any other color you like. And this is the primary color dark. So, it's a scaffold, and it has its own app bar. So Instagram app, I have uh, talked about this Insta app, Instagram uh, Insta app bar uh, in my previous video. So it's a custom uh, custom uh, custom widget that uh, that implements preferred size widget widget so that it could be uh, added into the app bar parameter of the scaffold. So it has a height of sixteen, and is profile screen equals to true. So I have uh, assigned there whenever it's a profile screen, we're gonna create the Instagram app bar little bit differently than we used to so inside the center uh, as you can see over here here uh, in the center of the app bar you can see a name of the user uh, this is the username and be uh, beside the username you will find a down arrow uh, it's supposed to do something but uh, for now I uh, for uh, this uh, tutorial is only for the UI purpose so this does nothing okay so basically uh, what 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 is this like this is a row with main uh, alignment as center and uh, there are two children one of them is a text that contains the username kq and and after that it follows uh, follows uh, after that it is followed by an icon that is a uh, keyboard arrow down so this is my instagram username if you want you can follow me over there <laughs> so trailing trailing is this hamburger widget menu widget more widget whatever you want to uh sorry i icon you want to say uh this is the this the, this is the uh, three lines over here so this is the icon and this is the icon button that is the icon data of menu so it is set to color white and after that so this entire page is scrollable so this is a single child scroll view inside it we have a column under the column we have this one profile stats so profile stat is this one if you have uh, to show the number of posts number of followers and number of following people so we we are providing some screen value over here because uh, screen is nothing but a media query of entire screen and a primary color over here if, uh, if you want to check then uh, we can go inside the profile state as well let me so it's a container nothing big over here uh, which has a padding of padding on left and right. Uh, currently, I said the only we uh, I could have used symmetry as well, and set horizontal uh, to ten, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I've given the color whatever color that has been provided, with a height of hundred, and inside it there's a row, right? So row first one is a container with the alignment uh, alignment set to center. And inside is there is a profile avatar. Profile avatar is another widget I have created. Uh, if you go over there, it's a uh, profile avatar is another container. Inside is a stack. I have done this because, uh, as you can see over here, there's a profile page and uh, uh, profile image, and beside that, uh, there's a circular ring over here. If you have any story that you have recently uploaded and you have not seen that photo, then this circular, uh, circular, what do you call, circular ring will be in red in color otherwise it will be in gray in color so for that i have used a stack 
where uh, inside the stack I have aligned all the element to the center so why, when you align everything in center I could place a bigger uh, bigger bigger circle in uh, top of the uh, and a space place a smaller server circle on the top of it in that way making an impression that uh, particular uh, image is inside that ring so inside there is a container container with a box shape of circle and border all with a given color of red so if you have seen the story it gonna be is uh, gray otherwise it gonna be red and on top of it there will be another uh, circular uh, uh, circular avatar here with which gives a image of the username so that does the profile widget now oh shit okay so another one is the bio bio is this one the text the uh, we have to display the username and some uh, what do you call uh, information about yourself and whatever you have placed over there so this is another widget and bio widget is another container which has a primary color that has been given to it uh, height of 100 with uh, some padding on left right and top not to the bottom and it is a column one two three I think it's something like this so first one is text text to display the username it is uh, this text comes in bo bold after that I have rich, used rich text because uh, while writing a bio on your Instagram profile you can use hashtag at the rate and stuff so for each hashtag uh, there's a different style of text to be displayed so that's why I've used text pen so that we can uh, play with different styles of text so first text is all photos are right this is a normal text after that I've used a hashtag over here hashtag should come with a different color and after that uh, normal text another hashtag with the same pink accent and followed by a username I mean sorry a website link so it's something like this alright so uh, if we go back to the profile screen then comes the edit profile edit profile is this button this is again another container another container with has which has a border and circular radius see you can see uh, we have used a box decoration with a border of gray and some radius around it then story highlight this is uh, this is the text that is displayed over here this is again another widget I have uh, put uh, I have made a lot of widget to make this profile screen so prof edit profile is another container that takes a color whichever color you have provided which provides a padding to the left and right again I have uh, could have used the symmetry uh, right now I'm using only because uh, I was playing with some design and maybe uh, there was only was required so um, it's a container with height of 30 with uh, now we are using a margin of symmetry with vertical uh, so that it, there's uh, some space on the top and bottom of that text so in the box decoration uh, again is a we, we are providing a border of gray and some radius so that there could be a, some little bit of curve around the edges then give, uh, give it a primary curve and the child of that container is a text widget that has a text edit profile okay after that we have used divider this is the gray line over here and we have profile tab bar as you can see over here we have some tab functionality as well for each tab we are displaying this is for the uh, post you have posted and this is for IGTV and these are the photos that you have been tagged so profile tab bar is another widget <laughs> So it probably be a, a stateful widget that implements the preferred size widget. So profile tab bar. Profile tab bar takes is post. This takes uh, three states to uh, to uh, move between three states. Like, is it a post? Is it IGTV? Is it post? I mean tag. So in that way, we are placing these items over here. So whenever something is selected it's gonna be in color white otherwise it's gonna be in color black as you can see over here, selected color comes in white 
and a container so basically it's a container with full height row it's a row right one two three and each is a and each tab is a gesture detector right first one is a container that takes a primary color that takes the height whichever height the widget uh, parent uh, parent widget is then it's a stack on the stack we have uh, set align and icon is over here for example grid this is the grid icon I have used as you can see over here and color color is post selected color if the current selected item is is a post then we're gonna give a selected color otherwise we're gonna give unselected color and again if it's a post then we're gonna do some alignment to it we're gonna set the color white otherwise we got we are not doing anything over here as you can see where this is a small white line that comes down uh, maybe you are able to see that this is a white color so if uh, currently selected item is this post then we're gonna display a small a little bit white line down at the container that's why we are using this otherwise we're gonna just display an empty container on tab whenever you tap this if it is not already selected then we're gonna call set state, uh, set state and set the tab name to post and widget on tab zero. So widget on tab is called again. This is a function that has been provided. Pass on to this uh, widget, I should say. Similarly, in such a way, we have used the same for IGTV and the tag post. I think this is. We are uh, on tab of each functionality. We are using this one, this flag, set flags to change between the flags. Uh, there could be a better way of doing this, but whenever you tap something, it will check if the case is post, if the tapped item is post. So, see, we are giving number two, right? So, if the tab item is post, then we're gonna say set post equals true, rest of the item into false. Similarly for IGTV, similarly for tag post. Then let's go to the third element. Third element is the staggered grid count builder. I uh, I have used staggered grid view because I could have used a grid view over here, but for this design, I needed the staggered grid view. Staggered grid view is an external package uh, dependency that I have imported. Uh, as you can see on my PubStack YAML, this is the fl Flutter Stacked Grid View. You can use it as it is. So we're gonna build the Stacked Grid here. We're gonna set Never Scoreable to Physics. Uh, never Scoreable Physics because we want whenever the score from a uh, score is triggered, we want the above item to be moved as well. That's why we are using Never Scoreable Physics. String wrap is true. If you don't set the string wrap is true, it gives a certain error where you have not defined the size or something. So that's why I'm using a uh, string wrap equals true. And cross axis count depends on which page we are. Like an item count is the uh, this is the this is a dummy file that I have created. This is uh, this is just a constant uh, list of string. That has a lot of strings in it. Each uh, uh, string contains a URL to an image. In that way, I'm generating all the image through via network. Okay. We are providing uh, if the page index is one, then we're gonna pro uh, then age inset is five. Otherwise, it is there's there shouldn't be any age. In it. For example, this IGTV has some kind of more border. Then this one and this one, right? For post, we have very minimal border. For tag, we have very minimal border. But for IGTV, we need some space. That's why we are setting this age insets on the padding. So box decoration is a circular decoration with radius of 10. Each child is a clip R right. So whenever you are in you are in IGTV, then 
we're gonna set the circular to 15 that's why it has more curve over here as compared to post otherwise it's zero right this is square box then a child will be an image with fit equals to set to cover an image with the whatever image you have fetched from the list now we're going to build a staggered build a staggered grid count if page index is not equal to one then all the item will have equal height via cross axis and uh, main axis so this is like perfect squares are there right this all are squares but for IGT we need a rectangular shape that's why we are say, uh, setting this page in the uh, staggered grid count so otherwise it will be cross axis and makes axis as same size in that way we have uh, I have built this profile screen uh, I think <laughs> explanation is not that good actually uh, i think what would be better is if you go uh go under the uh source code link that i have put in the down in the description if you have any question please leave a comment down in the description i will comment down in the uh, comment section of the video i will definitely talk about it and i, I think if you go directly into the source code that will be the best case and you'll be able to understand more than what i am telling right now so uh this video has been uh has taken a lot of time uh i should have created this video a long time back but still uh thank you for watching this video if you have any question leave down in the comment section uh definitely check out the source code and if you need any help or if you have any question please use the comment section okay then thank you so much guys